Hey guys, my name is Arnab, and today I am going to discuss a complicated thing that uh, pretty much well known to everyone that uh, MediaTek flagship is better or Qualcomm flagship. So keep watching this video, your problem will be solved as soon as the video ends. So let's get started. First of all, I want to say that MediaTek recently launched their Helio X20 and X25 processors. So I am going to talk about X20. So what's changed that uh, X20 makes a new thing? Actually X20 comes with 10 cores. So yes, it takes a core processor. And last time uh, X10 have 8 cores and Helio X20 now have 10 cores. While the X10 launched in March, X10 took place in December. So there's not a huge difference between these two, at least to the time limit. So at the next, I can say the architecture. So the Teka Core uh, MediaTek Helio X20 has 2.5 GHz Cortex A72 chipset, which is pretty new and pretty powerful too. And uh, here is the dual core setup of uh, A72 core and uh, at clocked at 2.5 GHz. And another two was a A53 chipset of Cortex, and uh, not both of them clocked that same. And uh, one clocked at 2 GHz, and other one clocked at 1.4 GHz. Equally for base performance and battery efficiency, and for extreme performance, S2 is always there. So uh, for this system, MediaTek improved a lot over the time and uh, over the Helio X10. So the new processor gives the architecture of 20 nanometers and also the uh, new processor have 10 cores uh, that I already mentioned and for this kind of setup the X20 improved a lot, the display improved, camera improved, connectivity improved and uh, lost lots of things like graphics, memory, GPU, everything improved. So you can see here on the image. So next thing uh, I want to uh, highlight uh, this thing at all. So, First of all, this uh, MediaTek MT67, uh, anything goes, uh, it simply X20 runs on a decoupled CPU, so which clocked at 2.5 GHz on Cortex S72, which consumes 30% less power than its previous predecessor, and it's uh, improved on the 4G connectivity too. Category 6 is also supported on this processor, and uh, the camera efficiency is also improved. It supports up to 32 megapixel single camera over uh, 13 plus 13 30 fps and 4K is also there, no impression. Uh, so in, uh, also the gaming performance is improved over the X10 to X20. So uh, as company claims 140% GPU performance improved and 60% of GPU power improved and uh, a display is also improved. The uh, camera is goes from 4K into 2K video playback on a 10 core, 10 core processor so it's pretty impressive and the sensor is also mm, gonna level up so integrated cortex m4 is very good for uh, sensor over here and uh, the power efficiency is also good claimed by mediatek that 70% uh, less modem power consumed on um, x10 and 60% uh, multimedia power less consumed than x10 so the next thing is overall performance improved so for the high performance Cortex S72 is always there as I mentioned. It has 2.5 GHz architecture which is very good for this processor and also consumes 30% less power than its predecessor. So it's uh, a remarkably good processor. So uh, what's next? Let's talk about the giant. Okay, so it's Snapdragon 820 and yes, it's one of the best processors among the market. So what it claims, that Snapdragon 820 claims that it is 3x faster 4G connectivity than 810. So it's very improved. And also the Cairo CPU, so it's uh, the architecture of the 820 is 2.4 GHz Cairo of uh, 4 cores and also have uh, 1.7 GHz of Cairo 4 cores. So overall 8 cores have different uh, value of GHz. Therefore they can produce best performance and battery life whatsoever. So the GPU is also improved to 530 Adreno. So uh, as company claims 40% of the GPU power improved. 
and the camera is also ISP228 so that's a good thing over the new CPU so overall the Snapdragon 820 improves on the X12 LTE category and as I mentioned the Cairo CPU improves 2x performance and power efficiency over the 810 and Adreno you know, 530 is there for handle your heavy gaming and the Hexogen 630 DPS which gives also 3x performance and 10x power efficiency to the X20 so new drivers came out very well and they have managed to make a good deal at all and this uh, processor is also supported by 3.0 quickchart technology as well as other uh, security managements and whatsoever at all so the next big thing is consume less than 30% of previous predecessor so as you see one time um, one of the best processor was snapdragon 801 which consumed a lot of power at all but the snapdragon 820s consume more than 30% less power than uh, 801 so no, it's uh, also very good that how uh, performance uh, goes up and battery consumption goes down over the time so I am pretty impressed seeing this so next thing uh, the generation of uh, new processors came with the pack peak download speed up, peak download speed up and LTCA power up so everything is improved and uh, improved a lot up to 3x, 2x and 40% lower power it's very amazing thing over Snapdragon 810 so what's the next thing so what's improved over Snapdragon 810 so 810 have a very good spaces at all Cortex A53, 57 no 72 at all on 810 but that's a good processor too Adreno 430 Hexogen version 56 4K at 30 FPS it's very good and extend LTE category 10 dual IPS 20 MP GSLL and Wi-Fi is 802.11 AC so display and uh, other things also good on 810 but Snapdragon 820 leads a chance it uh, runs on custom Cairo CPU which I already mentioned with 530 Adreno and Hexogen 680 everything is not already mentioned but uh, the main thing is it supports 4K at 60 frames per second and 10 bit resolution so it's very good thing over 810 and next 12 category is also fabulous so the uh, Wi-Fi also improved over 60 GHz uh, and uh, is intra core combination with UVWC for low power consumption so many things improved over 810 it's a good thing and overall the features that, uh, of Snapdragon 820 is here high performance, longer battery life, faster Wi-Fi, GPS good and uh, superior camera, video better, new ways to interact and lots more uh, MediaTek actually did very well from the thing so MediaTek is too good on this category but Snapdragon is not a deal breaker so if you want to go with Snapdragon yes that's a better option but if you want to jump to Helio X20 that's not a bad deal at all so you can look at a quick review over here and from my opinion I would suggest you to go with Snapdragon 820 because that have a better brand value and better features than MediaTek X20 which have only two cores of Cortex 72 but Snapdragon have all the cores at uh, full customization that therefore you can use the maximum possibilities of the processor so my recommendation is to go with Snapdragon 820 though MediaTek have a good processor but their strategy is to build up more and more code, cores but that's not the story of a processor you can't expect um, that you have managed to give 20 or 30 cores and you will get better performance at all so um, that's not a deal breaker but here is a, another story so thank you for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed and uh, i hope that you will subscribe to my channel as well as like my video so thank you for seeing this video hope you guys catch you later So while Helio X20 has 20 nanometer structure, 820 have 40 nanometer structure which is lot better from X20. So app CPU is quite better because the MediaTek uh, have 10 core structure while the 820 have 8 core structure but though 820 is far way faster than MediaTek Helio X20 because of that architecture of Cairo and uh, lots of um, software management over the 820 so the camera is also good on both of them though x20 support 
बेटर मेगा मेगा पिक्सल कैमरा बट एक्सटेन बट एट ट्वेंटी इज दो गुड एट ट्वेंटी एट मेगा पिक्सल सो नथिंग बेटर सो भिडियो रेकर्डिंग इज गुड ऑन स्नैपड्रैगन दैट सपोर्ट सिक्सटी एफ पी एस आप टू फोर टी एम टू टू के वाइल दी मीडिया टेक सपोर्ट ओनली थार्टी एफ पी एस विच इज नट सो गुड सो भिडियो एनकोडिंग इज बेटर ऑन मीडिया टेक दो एच डी आर इज सपोर्टेड देयर ग्राफिक्स इज ऑलमोस्ट सेम बट फाइव थार्टी एड्रिनो इज लिटिल विथ बेटर दैन एक्स ट्वेंटी इज आर मेडिटी एट एट्टी जिरो सो डिसप्ले इज बेटर ऑन एक्स ट्वेंटी बट इट्स डिपेंड्स ऑन दी मैनुफैक्चर टू दैट हुई ही सपोर्ट बेसिकली दिस टू हैव दि सेम कैंड ऑफ डिसप्ले फोर के इंटू टू के सपोर्ट बट दि न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रॉम एक्स ट्वेंटी इज कम टू मीडिया टेक सो हेर इज फार एडवांटेज फॉर हुएल डिसप्ले बट एक्चुअली दि मैनुफैक्चर यूज दैट फीचर और नट दैट डिपेंड्स ऑन दैट सो ओवरऑल दि मोडियम स्पीच इज फार बेटर ऑन एट ट्वेंटी कैटागोरी टेन सपोर्टेड ऑन दैट एंड कनेक्टिविटी इज सेम ऑन बोथ ऑफ देम एज आ इंट्रिकेटेड एंड एन एक्सटर्नल इट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन देम सो एट लास्ट आई कैन से दैट मीडिया टेक एक्चुअली डीट वेरी वेल फ्रॉम दि थिंग सो मीडिया टेक इज टू गुड ऑन दिस कैटागोरी बट स्नैपड्रैगन is not a deal breaker so if, if you want to go with snapdragon yes that's a better option but if you want to jump to helio x20 that's not a bad deal at all so you can uh, look at a quick review over here and from my opinion i would suggest you to go with snapdragon 820 because that have a better uh, brand value and uh, better features than mediatek x20 which have only two cores of cortex s72 but snapdragon have all the course at uh, full customization that is therefore you can use the maximum possibilities of the processor so my recommendation is to go with snapdragon 820 no media tech have a good processor but their strategy is to build up more and more code cores but that's not the story of a processor you can't expect um, that you have managed to give 20 or 30 cores and you will get better performance at all so um, that's not a deal breaker but here is another story so thank you for watching this video hope you guys enjoyed and uh, i hope that you will subscribe to my channel as well as like my video so thank you for seeing this video hope you guys catch you later